With the future of who the new Black Panther is still very much a mystery, and we of course having to wait till the upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever to find out who it is, many people have tried to figure out who exactly it will be based on things that have been said by the studio, by actors, and of course things going on in Marvel Studios films. So let's talk about a weird way that people believe they found the solution, and it lies within Spider-Man no way home question mark so i will be real with you i saw some people wanting me to talk about this one and i'm like i can't find why people would connect the dots which leaves me to my only conclusion being that this must be some sort of tiktok nonsense or something uh, anyways um from what i can gather and i asked somebody to comment it that i frequently see on the channel to kind of explain to me what is going on here essentially does the actual foundation of who the new black panther is going to be lie within spider-man no way home and to an extent doctor strange in the multiverse of madness this relating to wong as it's revealed that by technicality because the sorcerer supreme wasn't around during the whole blip time that they needed a new sorcerer supreme so hey um here he is Here's your new Sorcerer Supreme. It's Wong. Strange isn't here. What are we going to do? Just wait for him. He might never come back. That that logic somehow applies to Wakanda and Black Panther. Now, while that's a all right, maybe even a decent-ish working theory, I don't think we can apply a mystical, magical type of scenario where you need somebody that guards versus everything bad coming at us from other dimensions and trying to come through with uh, dark magic and all sorts of things to a political crisis that leaves a country without its leader while other countries at the same time are also suffering the same exact thing. Now, I'm not saying that during this time they didn't have an interim leader because obviously they would have had to have someone. Was it M'Baku as some people believe? Maybe it was. Maybe year by year other tribes took a turn maybe it was the entire t'challa family right like we don't know but again i just don't see how we could apply well yeah because you're not here for five years we just give it to the next person in line that's the obvious choice to me that seems like you're applying things ideas principles and things from other countries and cultures into another one which just doesn't make sense to me especially when you think of how Wakandan culture already was so different with what we saw in the first Black Panther movie and the almost no connection it would have to anything that has to do with a Black Panther, any mystical cities or anything like that. I think I'm making my point clear enough, right? Like it doesn't work like that. Just because the United States government operates the way it does, doesn't mean that some country somewhere in the world has to operate the same exact way. If that was the case, there wouldn't be turmoil there over new leaders or the old leaders sitting around for 25 years. Do you guys see what I'm saying? So I don't personally think there is anything in the whole Wong, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man situation that could possibly hint towards anything in Black Panther. If it does, well, okay, that's just deciding how they decided to pick a leader, but it wasn't the leader quite clearly.